Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are back with Funko on my mind. The, the series is all about talking about Funko Pops that they should probably exist, but incidentally, they don't. Weird. So we've covered quite a few like kind of areas the last few episodes. Like, I haven't I haven't uploaded one of these for quite a while. So this is this is one that I've been really 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 looking forward to getting into. Uh, so much I've actually taken a few weeks just to kind of research like certain characters, certain like films, etc. We are doing an MCU Spectacular and it's called the MCU Spectacular because we are not just stopping at one episode guys. Nope, we are doing a free episode piece on this. So this is number one of three. Uh, number two will be up a week from now and then the finale will be a week from then. It's all two weeks from now even. So I hope you enjoy this guys really really kind of thought to put the pieces together properly on this let's just have some fun with it i guess i'm a huge fan of the mcu always have been and um, i'm a huge like kind of advocate of the whole interconnectivity kind of vibe like obviously like before iron man came along like there was a whole thing with the licensing rights to certain superheroes so they couldn't actually interconnect like that but they can now. We, we, we've got Spider-Man and Captain America duking out in Civil War, things like that. So I'm, I'm happy enough for that. So episode one, we're going to start off with one of my favourite characters. Just a simple one pop thing. I mean, it could it could very well be a chase variant as well. I don't I don't know. But we're going to go with Ned Leeds, a.k.a. the Hobgoblin. Well, he's not the Hobgoblin in the Spider-Man films. Not yet anyway, but... With no way home on its way, like anything's possible, given the rumours that are circulating at the moment. So Ned is obviously Peter's best friend. Uh, he's his uh, guy in the chair, and he's just he's just generally funny. He's quite a really really likable character, and I think the Funko Pop for Ned would have to just be straightforward Ned, like in his like normal attire. Uh, as far as chase variants concerned, there's obviously that scene where he's kind of sat with Spider-Man's mask on, like messing around. Uh, like just that as a chase would be really, really cool. So that's my <laughs> that's my number fifteen because we're going five, then fifteen. So number four for an individual character again, like with Ned, uh, he's another funny like side character of the MCU that. He really does not get enough screen time. He really does not get given his dues. And as far as I'm concerned, like from what I've read, there is a scene that's been filmed in existence that needs to be released, featuring this guy, like recapping the entire like kind of timeline of the MCU. It's played by my man Michael Pena, Luis. This guy literally cannot stop talking. It is amazing. In real life, it would probably give me a headache, but seeing it on screen is just absolutely brilliant. It's the highlight of Ant-Man for me and Ant-Man and the Wasp. I want to see this guy pop up in future films. And like, they definitely missed the trick, like not make a Funko Pop of Luis. So like just, just a standard pop, maybe like, I don't know, there's an Ant-Man range already. Maybe just make it special edition, something like that. I mean, the, the value would probably soar for that. The values for the Ant-Man pops at the moment, I think, I think they're relatively high anyway. But to see a Luis pop would be absolutely fantastic. Marvel Funko, you definitely missed the trick on that one. It's, I think there's a lot of people out there that would buy this Funko. So that is number four, Luis, aka Michael Pena, aka Ant-Man Chatterbox. So it's that time of the show now, guys, where we hand all proceedings over to another YouTuber. Uh, this time we have got a very special guest. Well, we have two very special guests, in fact. Uh, he wins giveaways all the time. I don't know how, but it's it's a trick that I really want to kind of grasp. Uh, ladies and gents, I hand you over to Wayne and Logan. Hello, I'm Smarvia, and I'm Wayne. So I'm Logan. And this is Logan. So this isn't our video. We just did a guest spot for JW Surprise. He's asked us to think of. Five pops or that that should be in the MCU that hasn't been made yet. What do you think of that? You mean five MCU pops that should be made? Five MCU characters that should be made into pops. Characters, or moving moments, ten inches. So I've got one. 
I or reckon. Or do we both have to name five each? No, we'll just do five between us. Okay. Yeah? So, my first choice would be from Civil War. It'd be a movie moment where you got Cat he's going down with his shield onto Iron Man's chest, you know, when they're fighting. So I feel like, like there's already been a movie moment, though. There hasn't lot of that. But that would be an awesome movie moment like that, the shield on Iron Man's chest. What about Speaking you? of movie moments, my, my first uh, suggestion, Soda, is from Avengers Endgame, where Iron Man is holding Thanos' gauntlet on there to pull the stones out, and, uh, and maybe Cap and Steve can be on the floor. Interesting. What about a movie moment with... Oh, I did my head a second ago, it's gone. Uh, I'd like to see like a, a Quinjet, like a Hawkeye or someone in a Quinjet as a pop ride from MC moment. Yeah, MCU. That'd be good, like a Quinjet. Because Hawkeye's driving it, flying it a lot in the uh, Age of Ultron. So yeah, a Quinjet movie ride with Hawkeye. Okay. Uh... Well, I have two more ideas. I'll share uh, my sort of Come second on. one. Uh, Vision in Age of Ultron before he gains all the sort of looks at, that we see him as today. Basically, right as he was birthed. Okay. Well, I've got one. Now, this goes back to one of the original ones. That's the Incredible Hulk. Where he's got a bummy tank, he's swinging the chain around with like the hook against abomination. So that'd be a good one with the Hulk in anger mode with like the chain around his head like that. That'd be wicked pop, I reckon. Because there's some good pops from that film they could have made. Like the armies in the cars, you know what I mean? Even a, a better abomination pop. Like the Hulk swinging the chain around with the hook, that'd be a good six inch pop. Now, my last idea is sort of a ton of pops in one idea. It is the dusted characters. Basically, ca the, characters the characters that were dusted turning to dust. Interesting. So, like, when Akora is with Black Panther and he's dusting? No, just as one pop. Just one pop for every for each of yeah, them. Yeah, they've already got a uh, Nick Fury dusting. So, let's have oh, right. our fathers. Oh, so a range of them, yeah? Yeah. Oh, that'd be, that'd be actually really cool. So all from, like, uh, Infinity War when they're dusting. Yeah, and the dusted characters from Endgame, like Thanos. Okay, that'd be interesting. Right, I hope you like this video. Uh, JW, sorry about that. And thanks for letting us be in your segments. We hope you like this. And we see you in the next videos, guys. Bye. Bye. Absolutely fantastic range of ideas there, guys. Thank you to Wayne and Logan for filming that and sending that over to me. And we will get on with the show. So we're at, well, that counts as number three. So we're at number two. So number two, it's more of a, not a side character so much, more of a like background character. So kind of akin to Stanley cameos. Like there's a few Stanley cameo pops out there. Another like side slash background character from Guardians of the Galaxy. I would love to see made into a Funko Pop. I mean, there's already kind of like one based on him from the comics, but to see the like live action MCU variation would be fantastic. Is Cosmo the space dog or Cosmo the astro dog? I don't know which one he's called, but he, he's up there anyway. Uh, straightforward pop, special edition, maybe maybe make it a chase without the space helmet. Like I see, I seem to be like kind of liking the ideas of chases at the moment. That's because I got my chase vision recently and I'm I'm over the moon with it. So the use of like side characters in the MCU is obviously important because there's so much like kind of comic lore or lore that can be touched upon like in these films and Marvel really do smash out the park. Like if you're an eagle eyed fan and you spot a character in the background, like obviously that's payoff for you if if you're more of a casual viewer, maybe a bit more difficult to pick out things like that. But there's there's always online forums to refer to if you've missed a trick. But Cosmo the Space Dog appears in the collector's uh, kind of vault. Like he's just he's just like the galaxy's biggest hoarder, like bar me. So that that would be my number two, Cosmo the Space Dog, and.
I'm really sorry guys, I've been rambling on and I've just realised I've mucked the numbers up. So, number 15 was Ned Leeds. Number 14 was Luis from Ant-Man. Number 12 was Cosmo the Space Dog. And number 11, we are here, is a villain. We have a villain entry. They were in the Avengers and I don't think they were give, given enough like kind of credit in terms of merchandising. Obviously they didn't want to give the secret away at the time as to what was going on in the Avengers that come to Loki had to have an army and that army were the Chitari. The Chitari are ugly MFs. Uh, I'd never heard of them until like this film came out. Obviously I, I did my reading and they've been kind of written into the comics in recent years. But to see a, like a pop of the Chitari would be great. Again, it could be done as a chase variant. It could be done as a, like a deluxe, like a pop ride. You have the Chitari on their little like, weird flying scooter things. I, I don't know what they are. They're like, they look more like chariots actually. So you can have like a pop ride based on those or just a standard pop. Plus Chitari, that's number 11. And we'll have to stop it there guys. That's today's video. If you wanna check out my other top 10, tune in next week for Funko On My Mind, MCU Spectacular Part 2. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave us a comment down below, let me know what you think of the comments. Uh, head over to Wayne Deacon's channel, check him out. If you haven't already, you probably have, because he's, he's a big deal. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Tara for now. Sign out.